What is going on guys, this is Clutch once again and welcome back to Rota Compilation, well what is yet to be named, right now it's called Rota Compilation but I'll change that name probably in the next couple of days, but before we get into that action, if you're looking to buy some FIFA Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFAUTCoinStore.com, they're a cheap and reliable service and the links will be in the description. So getting into today's episode, we are going to be on the hunt for some more skill goals, well for some skill goals because in the last episode, we had one little skill run and it wasn't, well it wasn't really that great but as you can see right there like what I was saying about Barca Neymar um, he's poop up front but as a cam he is just an absolute don um, in this episode I think Raf no, not Fra Raphael Sobeys I was going to say Sobeys went on a tear but Mike Onliete went on an absolute tear in form Liete is amazing like I'm surprised how good he is because Barca Neymar is pretty poop up front because he's got no strength and Liete probably has less. Um, I'm not too sure, I haven't checked the stats on that, but as you can see, um, Marcio Azevedo doing what he will be doing quite a lot in this series, scoring off those corners. He's an absolute beast from there. Um, but That's just my look. Like, I can't finish skill runs. I, I just choke at the last minute. It's so annoying. Um, but... As I go on a run with Wellington right here, um, basically in this series, I'm not just going to talk about the gameplay because that's going to be kind of boring. Uh, miss another fucking bike right there. It's getting so frustrating. But um, I'm not just going to be talking about the gameplay because that's going to be kind of boring. Um, Rabona fail right there. But I'm going to be talking about football as well. So I'm going to ask you guys some questions based on today's um, fixtures. Today we have Man City against Cardiff. Um, Tottenham, Swansea and Man U Chelsea is tomorrow so basically I want your guys predictions down below who do you think will win against in the Man City Cardiff game um, I think City will take it but I don't know we, we're kind of exposed at the back because company's out for at least a month I believe um, which was said on Friday so that's going to be a loss considering we well our second best um, well, we've got Nastasic out and Colo Torre just moved to Liverpool, so we're kind of short at the back. And Javi Garcia gives me nightmares at the back of, at, at centre back because I don't know, I, I don't think he knows what he's doing there. He's more of a natural CDM. But um, moving on to Tottenham and Swansea, I, that, I think that'll be an interesting game because there'll be. An, I don't know whether it depends. It depends how the Tottenham players react to the news of Bale um, because he's probably going to move to Real Madrid in the near future for 93 million and Cohen Trower, I believe, which is fucking ridiculous. What a price tag for a player. I know Bale is amazing, but fucking hell, I didn't think Real Madrid would cave in and actually go for that price tag because it's a bit much. And Neymar stealing and getting another goal right there. He's, he's just out of this world. Um, you really need to, need to try and cam if you haven't. If you're playing him at a striker, he's just wasted. Uh, moving back to cam or even centre forward. I haven't tried him centre forward, but he'd probably be decent there. Um, but yeah, Tottenham Swansea, that'll be an interesting one because Swansea aren't really the worst team. They're a decent team. So they could catch out Tottenham if the players don't have their head in the game. Um, United versus Chelsea, that should be an interesting game. That, that'll be close. Um, I don't know though, I, I, as a City fan I really want Chelsea to take it, but I, to be honest I don't like either of them, I just like um, seeing my neighbours do well, well not do well, seeing my neighbours do badly and, and us do well, so I, I kind of want Chelsea to take some points off United in there, also I've got quite a few Chelsea players in my fantasy football team, um, so I want points off that and Michael Nieti bagging another goal right there to seal the win. Um, a 2-1 win, that guy was fairly tough, I'm not going to lie. Um, he kind of frustrated me and I had to try really hard in the second half. Um, coming up against this goal team, I was kind of fearing m &EK, Hulk and Lavezzi here because they usually play well, well, they play well against most people but they usually cause me a lot of trouble. Um, but I think I was saved by the chemistry right there. Um, I got a little. Actually, Michael Nieti with another goal. Jeez, like, I knew I knew he scored a lot, but he's every time I'm like paying attention to the actual game, he's just popping up with goals left, right, and center. Uh, Richarlison with a nice finish there to make it two nil. And the rookie mistake of the century. I need to stop doing this. I do this too frequently, and it costs me so many goals. But he steals in and finishes nice, nicely with Lovetsy. So he's back in the game. And as I said in the last episode, I'm not comfortable with one with a one goal lead. So. Um, I, I went try hard and I just slotted that in with Sobeys, probably could have tried a couple of skills here and there, but I thought, fuck it, nope, I want the win. Um, so yeah, pushing on, we are up 
by two goals and we're kind of cruising so oh my god the luck that was here I missed twice hit the post twice and then so B steals in with a header um, to put us up 4-1 so I'm kind of cruising right now and I'm going to start start to look to get the skills going and once again another wacko wack of fail I actually did hit quite a few in, in this game but I just didn't like have an end product and right there it was, it was a pretty decent goal it would have been better if I actually nailed the wacko wacko because I don't know, I don't know if that's compilation worthy to be fair. Um, I have fairly high standards when it comes to this. I, I've only just realised that, like, looking at these goals. Um, right there, we get a nice Rabona to a decent finish. I would have preferred a bicycle kick, but what can you do? This guy got so pissed off and started piss passing around the back for the last, li literally the last half an hour, but it cost him there because um, Rick Rallison stole in and got the ball there, and Michael Niese gets what's his eighth goal in six games, I believe. Um, so yeah, a fairly convincing win, 7-1 against that team and that is the final game of today's episode. Uh, another 3 wins on the board so that's another 9 points um, and we are moving on nicely in the divisions. But until next time guys, it has been Clutch, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, peace!